What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Fun World Man. Um, so I've been kind of getting asked this question a lot, and that question is, what was my biggest Fun World score? Like, what was my biggest best deal I've ever gotten? Um. That is kind of hard because uh, I've gotten plenty of good deals before. Uh, Like this one. This one was a pretty good deal. Um, This one was definitely a pretty good deal. And even though this one super hella damaged, still a really good deal. But the one that I would have to say was probably, like, the most sentimental big deal um, was probably my pink Tate. Because, actually, when I bought it, a lot of people were asking for it. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Like, I don't think I would, I don't think I would ever sell this. To be honest, because A, this mask in general, is pretty hard to find. I mean, there's been more popping up. Like, when I got this mask, I believe there is only maybe two or three Fun World collectors who actually owned a pink Tate. I know Douglas Little had one, and I know Cody Wise had one. I'm sorry if you guys don't want me to mention your names. Um... I wanted to give you guys a shout out because you guys, you guys are cool. You guys are awesome. Um, but there's a bunch, like, I mean, almost all my masks I got for a pretty good or at least decent deal. You know, this one I paid $60 for just because the person literally had no idea what they had. I mean, I bet you they knew that it was worth something, but they probably didn't know exactly how much it was worth. These masks, I've seen them go anywhere from, um, I've seen them go anywhere from $11 to $150, so, and this one's actually, this one's actually pretty special to me, because this is like a completely different copy out in some of them. This mask is technically a Gen 1 and a Gen 2. So what do I mean by that? It's a Gen 1 neon with a Gen 2 sculpt. And that, I think, is really, really cool because Gen 2s are actually way, way bigger. So if I do a size comparison... I've done comparisons with this before... But, um, I just wanted to do it again because I actually have two Gen 1s. At least I think I have two Gen 1s. Yeah, these are two Gen 1s. Okay. I have two Gen 1s. And one of them is a white shroud. The other is a black shroud, which makes it perfect. So... I'm going to show you that difference between the two. Alright, here it is. So, this is the Gen 1 slash Gen 2 Neon. The reason why I say it's a Gen 1 Neon is because it doesn't have the eyeliner. Now, I will say it is more rare to have the eyeliner. But what I think is even more rare... Because I haven't really seen any others like this. I I really haven't. I think it's more... I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong if you do see this video. But... I believe the Gen 2 with a Gen 1 paint job... I'm pretty sure that's pretty rare. Because I haven't seen any others with a Gen 1 paint job... With a Gen 2 sculpt. Now, how do I know that it's a Gen 2? If you've been collecting Fun World masks for 
or have seen Fun World Mask for as long as I have. I've basically seen them all my life. You would know that the nose goes differently. So with a Gen 2, the nose is definitely more curved. Way more curved. And the nose is also longer because with a Gen 2, it goes like this. Now, I'm going to show you the Gen 1. Oh, also the eyes are also way bigger. I might actually get a tape measure and measure the eyes. And these, and the Gen 1s that I'm about to show you are misshapen. They are misshapen, but they're not misshapen in the eyes. None of my tapes are misshapen in the eyes. It's actually pretty hard to get a tape that's misshapen, in my opinion. This is a Gen 1 Black Shroud Tate. Now, as I told you, the eye on this one is way bigger than this one. And you also got way more of a curve. Way more of a curve. Now, again, this could be a defect in the eye. But, it's the same thing with my other Gen 1. So, and another thing too... Both of my Gen 1s, their nose goes from here to here. But if you see on this one, it goes from here to here. So, that's pretty cool. Um, another thing that you will notice, too, is this is way bigger than this. This is the top of the hood. This is the top of the hood. This is the bottom of the masks. They're both literally at about the same, like, same starting point. Literally at the same starting point. This goes about an inch to maybe an inch and a half longer. And... I don't know a lot about Gen 2s. I'm not a huge Gen 2 collector. I do appreciate Gen 2s. And I do like collecting Gen 2s because they are super rare. But this and another pink is the only two Gen 2s. I mean, I, I, mean, I own other Gen 2s, but, you know. And then this, Gen 1 tape, uh, Black Shroud tape. You can see the smile is a lot bigger on the Gen 2 than it is on the Gen 1. Same goes for my white shroud. Now, what I love about the white shroud is it makes it look like an angel. And it just makes it look so much more menacing. Because, and, oh, also, that's where the nose starts. That's when those finish. And if I stretch it out, like if I actually make it small, it's the same exact length as this mask. But this mask is so much bigger. I would do a wearing face test, but I'm afraid that this one stinks because when I got it, it smelled like ramen. It doesn't really stink. Uh, let me see if I can... This is the wearing reveal. This is like all the features are all put together. And then you've got the white shroud tape, which again, one of my favorites. I don't really get to wear this one much. I really wish I could wear it more. And I really wish they would have made, like, the robes for these. Because it would have been, like, a monk, too, kind of. Like, a white monk. 
not monk, uh, I don't know what they call it. But yeah, as you can see, it's the same size as my Black Shroud. I don't think I would get rid of this. In fact, I was about to sell this because it was yellowed. Um, I really, I was going to trade it for a uh, cotton bid, uh, kind of like fantastic stalker mask, but I figured I would much more appreciate this, but it ended up going for like $150, so that kind of sucked. That is one of my favorites right there. Like, literally, I love that mask so much. I love the white shrouds. I wish I could buy... Uh, White Shroud Grin. There's one on eBay that I really want to buy, but highly doubt I will. Then this is the pink tape. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. And it does... It is very vibrant. You could see it more more clearly how big the nose actually is. See, my head, like, my forehead starts about right here. And it's right here. My nose is where the nose should be. But it's like, it's just like, it's, it's a big nose. I need to start brushing my hair more. I already brushed my hair today, but it's like, I need to start brushing it more. This is my Gen 3, also known as a Fearsome Faces MK stamp tape. Now, this mask doesn't have the eye mesh, which makes it look so stupid. Makes it look really, really dumb. Kind of makes me look like a... I'm not going to say it because my video could get taken down if I do. But, you know, it, is, it still is a very good and cool mask. I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, except for the fact that it has no eye mask. It was ripped up here, I think. Yeah, it was ripped up here. And it was torn. You could still see the hole right there. But it was torn from all the way up here. All the way. Almost all the way down. So. I like this mask. And with the hair. Now. Let me show you the difference between MK stamp sculpts. With OGEU stamps. Now, the thing with these are, the MK stamps, they're so much different than, like, the Fun World MK stamps. Like, as you saw, the MK tape was much, much, much smaller. This is the regular vampire. It's probably going to tear because my head's so damn big. Very awesome mask. Very small. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is a very tight fitting mask. Like, like it's barely fitting on my cheeks. I rate this mask out of comfort comfortability about 5 out of 10. Mask itself, 10 out of 10. Um, then we've got, like, one of my all-time favorite masks. The MK Vampira. This mask is very loose-fitting.
I do need to reshape this because it would look a lot better if I did. In fact, it would look more like this if I did. That looks a lot better than this. Looks like she got punched in the face. It looks like she got hit in the face with a shovel. Um, now, another one, not really MK, but they're two different masks. The same masks, but two different copies. And I like, I like this mask a lot. In fact, I liked it so much that I bought two. So let's just show you how much I love this mask. I don't think I'd ever sell any of these copies because they're both unique. So the thing about Foam World, their masks are never really consistent with each other because they're older masks. They were almost handmade. This is my original copy uh, of the pirate vamp skull slash tattooed vamp skull now as you can see it lays flat because it was put in a bin with a bunch of other masks it was actually found at a thrift store i put this on Now, it is a very cool mask still, but it's very, very bright. And there's a bunch of problems. Like, it, there has a hole right here. Hello. Um, the vinyl, it's not really the texture that I like to have on a mask. And there's a one ninety nine stamp right there. So, I don't like, I don't really like that mask i like it i love it a lot but it's like not as much as my other copy and i'll show you my other copy this is my other copy let me show it to you you are it. Now, I know it kind of looks the same, but uh, at the same time, really doesn't. There's a huge difference. First of all, this is a darker color. Second of all, the vinyl texture is very, very, very good. I like this type of texture. I like the texture of vinyl where it's not like super, super thick, but it's not super, super thin either that's the type of texture i like now the thing is with with uh this mask it was a huge gamble i kind of knew it was a fantastic just because all the uh, like this would be more likely to be a fearsome faces because of the the, you know, like the shape of the mask and everything like that, that's more likely to be a fearsome. Because I've seen more fearsomes like that. I've seen more of these in Fantastics than I have fearsomes. But I have seen fearsomes like this, so it was a really, really big gamble. I spent, I think, 40 bucks on this mask. I don't know if people paid more for this mask ever. I hope not, because it's really not supposed to be bought for... It is not even really supposed to be bought for 40, let alone more than 40. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and a very fun time. Goodbye.